Back in the studio, so nice to see all of you. I just uh, thought that I would shoot a short video showing you some problems that I've been seeing with the, the gimbal when I'm using the return to home hack that I've showed in one of the previous videos. I've just concluded a nice vacation with my wife where we were visiting the western part of Denmark, exploring some pretty interesting locations. One of them is the southern part of Denmark that's called Sønderborg. And outside Sønderborg, there is a very known historical landmark in Denmark that's called Dybbel Mølle or Dybbel, Dybbel Mill. This is a very well preserved mill that was used to sort of crush the corn into flour. This mill has become an historical landmark and a symbol of this area. This part of the country has been through so much historically because it's at the borderline up to Germany and there has been a lot of disputes over the years at least in the, the old days, about where to draw the border towards Denmark. And that line has been moving up and down uh, <laughs> a lot before it finally settled where it is right now. Some would say this is of course history and this is something that happened way back, but there's still a lot of history tied into this. And it's pretty weird to walk in the streets and see like tombstones of uh, people from the army that has fallen uh, in different battles. And having the Mini 2 in the luggage and um, the weather behaving kind of decently, it was uh, obvious that I would go there to do some uh, filming. I only had a single battery available, so of course every uh, minute of filming uh, should count <laughs> when I was doing this. And this is when I ran into a problem. I was filming a little bit back and forward, as you can see on the screen recording. Now I'm flying uh, towards the back side of the mill. It's pretty uh, ideal because uh, this is a uh, farmland, so there was actually no issues uh, flying around filming the mill. I just wanted to make sure that my return to home height was set to around 30 meters. And then I wanted to do the return to home hack where I could use the return to home like course lock and then simply fly panning towards the side of the mill. I'm hitting uh, the return to home. And then of course it straightens out the, the camera in the direction where it's going to return. So I'm going to move the camera back towards the mill and then bop. <laughs> Not the camera is silly. What is going on here? I've seen that flying in sport mode uh, multiple times, but I've never seen that uh, when, uh, when doing something like this. So now, uh, of course, I'm flying with the smart controller, so freezing is a part of it, and I'm not referring to the temperature. So I'm kind of wondering, are you seeing this with the normal controller as well? I don't think it's related, but just to, just to check in with you guys to see if you see the same. So I thought this can't be right. So I decided to fly back and repeat the process flying it manually. So in position, starting the recording, switching it into cinema, and then I do a very soft sweep in parallel to the mill. And as I'm using the smart controller, it is a bit difficult to do this smooth because it's it's, it's lagging a bit. That was not a problem. As you can see, I was perfectly capable of doing this uh, in cinema mode without affecting the gimbal. This is kind of weird because I've only seen gimbal issues uh, so far when uh, using sport mode and trying to push the drone to sort of extreme speeds. I hope you enjoyed these beautiful pictures from the Dupin Mill. This was the best that I could do under the weather conditions available. The day before where I actually planned the filming, it was raining all day and it was uh, blowing cats and dogs or whatever <laughs> you gotta say. So so it was very difficult for me to do those uh, recordings there. Luckily, I got a chance to film it before we were heading home. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and seeing you around.